Today we will be using PTC Pro Engineer Wildfire 4.0 to construct a cube. If you're using Wildfire 5.0, keep in mind that the orientation of the screen may be a little different, but all the icons and the steps should be the same. To start, we've got our Pro Engineer window open. We need to create a new part file. So, in the upper left hand corner of the screen, we're going to go to File, then select New, and this will open a window asking us if we want to do a part. We have part selected. I'm going to name the part Cube, and we'll select OK, which should take us to our template. During this tutorial, we will be creating a sketch, dimensioning it, and then extruding it to create a virtual cube in three dimensions. The three planes you see on the screen right now represent different views that you could have. We're going to create a cube, so obviously our sketch needs to be a square, and then we need to extrude it the same dimension as the sides of our square so that all three dimensions, the length, the width, and the height, are all equal. To do this, we'll use the sketch tool, which is the blue graph icon in the upper right of our screen. When we select this, it gives us a sketch box. Our sketch box is right now blank because it's asking us what plane we want to work on. If we select the top work plane from the viewing screen, it should fill in the plane and a reference it to the front. When we select sketch this will give us our sketching window. In this sketching window you see a toolbar off to the right that gives you options to do lines, squares, circles. We need to create a valid profile sketch which means we need a single polygon that is closed so there are no open sides. Obviously for a cube, that's going to be a square. So we're going to select our rectangle tool. When we left click on it once, we now have a cursor that will snap to the horizontal or vertical axes if we want it to. It'll snap to the origin here if we want to in the center. I'm going to create a square that is symmetric about the vertical axis and symmetric about the horizontal axis just to show you how to dimension those properly. So I'm going to start by uh, start my rectangle in the upper left quadrant. I'm going to left click and release on my mouse. That started my rectangle. In order to get my rectangle out, I just slide my mouse across my desktop without clicking. And then when I get it approximately as big as I want, and I'm going to make it an odd dimension, I left click one more time and release you'll notice that those dimensions pop up very briefly and go away. This is allowing me to add additional lines or polygons to my sketch. For our purposes being a cube, we only need one sketch and it needs to be a square. So I will center click my black rolling ball of my mouse and it will give me dimensions. Now it gives me four dimensions here. It gives me the overall width of my rectangle it's giving me the overall height of my rectangle and then it's allowing me to dimension it off of the horizontal construction line or off of the vertical construction line. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to create the width of my rectangle and the way to do this is I'm going to double click the number representing the width at the top of my screen. For the purposes of our tutorial I'm going to use 200 as my dimension and then in order to lock that in I have to hit enter or return. Now I've dimensioned the width of it to be 200. I also need the height to be 200 so I'll double click the height value. It will allow me to change this dimension to 200 as well. Again to lock it in I must hit return. Now I want mine to be symmetric about the vertical and horizontal axes, so I know that half of the height and half of the width are 100, so I need to dimension it 100 away from this horizontal axis and 100 away from the vertical axis. To, so to do that, I will double click each of these remaining dimensions and change them to 100.
Now I have a square that is symmetric about the horizontal and vertical axes. Now I'm done with this sketch, so I need to click the check mark, letting the program know that I'm done with my sketch and I need to get to my extrusion phase. Because I want you to see the extrusion, we're going to change the view. By going up to our named view list at the top of the screen, I will left click it once, I will slide down, and I will select the isometric view. You'll notice my sketch, though it looks about the size of my work plane down here, is that red square that's on my screen. I'm going to click the extrude tool because we want to change this two-dimensional square into a three-dimensional cube. So the extrude tool on my screen is in the lower right. When I click on the extrude tool, it will give me a three-dimensional yellow box showing me the third dimension of how my extrusion will go. For our purposes, we need to change this height to 200 because our length and our width are 200, making it a cube. The other thing I want to do is I want to make this symmetric about the top work plane just to show you how to do that. So up here in our middle toolbar that has just popped up, the first thing we have is extrude as a solid. That's what we want. If we clicked the extrude as a surface, you'll notice that you could make a hollow box. We want to do an extrusion as a solid. The next icon is selecting the work plane view meaning that right now we're just going above the work plane. I'm going to select that down arrow and click the second icon, which means I'm going to be symmetric about my work plane. You'll notice now my work plane divides my three-dimensional solid in half. Then the last thing that we need to do is change our dimension to 200. So I'm going to select the 86.6 .6 that it defaults to, change it to 200, and hit return. When I've done this, you'll notice that my cube is now 200 tall, and I know that it was 200 wide and 200 long when we did our sketch, so this should complete our cube. The way we finish this is to go up to our green check mark here, let it know that we're done with our extrusion. When we click the green check mark, it will fill that in solid, and we'll be done with our cube. If you want to get various views of our cube, if you hold down the center mouse button or the black rolling ball, and while holding it down, drag your mouse across the tabletop, you can view all sides of our three-dimensional object. Thank you for joining me today to learn how to do a cube using the sketch menu, drawing a rectangle on our screen, dimensioning that rectangle to become a square, and then completing this with an extrusion. I hope you will look at my other online tutorials and if you have any questions please feel free to email me. Thank you very much for your time. Have a wonderful day.